They've rescued them. Two minutes between Richarlison's equaliser. Hey guys and welcome back for another video. Today we are going to talk about my game week 35 team selection. Before start, let's have a look on my transfer for the double game week 34. I got Alexander Arnold, Salah, and Diogo Jota for a minus eight. Yes, I have two free transfer and took a couple of hits, but it went very well and I gained eight points as a total point difference. Taking hits wasn't a problem at all. I gained points and even I got Salah and Trent Alexander Arnold for uh, the long term picks. This was my team for double game week 34. I got 100 points so far. I still have six players left to play today. I think I'm happy with my backline. Still with a clean sheet. Trent Alexander Arnold, as I predicted last game week. He got an assist in a in one match and in other match he got a clean sheet. Show with a good seven points as well. And last one was Trebier, who was so frustrating last game week. He created a big chance for Botman. He also was top for chance created with five chances created. Unfortunately, he didn't get in any attacking returns and lost clean sheet for a defensive error. On another day, he can go about 12 points in midfield Mitoma and Marsh was not good at all Mitoma was benched and Marsh played very wide but happy was Bruno I was torn between selling Bruno or Grealish I decided to sell Grealish and keep Bruno Bruno scored and got 11 points still has another game left Salah was my transfer and got a double digit hole in addition to Rashford Diogo Jota and Erling Haaland, my captain. Regarding game week 35, in goal, I'm starting Steel ahead of Keba due to the home advantage and the fact that Brighton is much better and more solid defensively recently than Chelsea. Bournemouth looks in form rather than the week Everton. So, Steel is my goalkeeper for this game week. My defender will be Trebiar, starting him and hope for any returns for this game week. I still think that he's much unlucky. Last game week he can easily get an assist and a clean sheet but lost his clean sheet due to a defensive error and Botman couldn't score his cross. So Trebiar for another chance against Arsenal expecting maybe an assist. Not expecting a clean sheet to be honest but expecting to share and some attacking returns. My second funder would be Talent Alexander Arnold. My transfer last game week, he got 11 points. He is very creative in midfield. I expected him last game week to get a clean sheet and get an assist, and he did it. Starting him against Brentford at home will be a good chance. My last defender will be Luke Shaw. Expecting West Ham to struggle against Man United due to the presence of. Casimiro. Regarding the expected clean sheet for this game week, Man City is the top for expected clean sheet with 58%. Second is Brighton. This is why I'm starting Brighton ahead of Keba. Brighton with 48%. Chelsea is the third with 40 Liverpool the, the fourth with 38%. My midfield consists of Bruno who I kept face on him and kept him over Grealish and he rewarded me. He also created a big chance for Rashford last game week. It can be an assist for him but unfortunately Rashford missed it. Rashford is still essential if you don't own him. Get him as soon as possible. He's very dangerous and very advanced. Bruno is very advanced as Casemiro and Eriksen are back. Marsh and Mitoma was so frustrating last game week but I'm keeping face on them, getting them another chance against the leaky Everton. Marsh was so wide and so deep against Wolves, but expecting him to be back and I hope for a better performer. Salah, my fifth midfielder against Brentford at home. Salah at home is a very different assets so good at Anfield and expecting him to get some points for this game week. As I mentioned on Instagram, 
this is my recommended differential for the final four game weeks of the season i'm seeking and looking forward to a forward transfer so mostly i will think of the first two options so my watch list will be alvarez wilson and isaac i think my transfer for this game week will depend hugely on jota fitness if he's fit to start i'm expecting him to start the game if he's fit i'm rolling my free transfer for this game week but if it's not fit for the weekend i will have another question if Haaland is starting or not if Haaland is starting i may get a wilson or isaac newcastle forward but if Haaland's not starting mostly i mean i'm getting alvarez as a man city forward against leeds united which is very leaky and suffering but regarding isaac versus wilson which one to get can we get both of them last game week against southampton it was obvious that isaac was very wide playing as a left wing while wilson is centrally isaac started the game but wilson since he was substituted he was very sharp and very direct he scored two goals and has another disallowed goal isaac was wide and as a left winger Isaac didn't have any shot inside the box last game week while Wilson recorded the most shots inside the box with 6 shots inside the box and 3 big chances I know Isaac is the first option but with this great form of Wilson expecting him to be starting more games there is very important fact that most of the FBL community don't notice if we expect Wilson to start a game and Isaac start another one in double game week 36 we can predict that Isaac will start the first game for uh, 90 minutes then and get only 30 minutes in the second game 120 minutes the same as Wilson but the fact that 60 minutes both of them will be on the pitch Isaac will get only 60 minutes as a center forward and the uh, other 60 minutes will be playing as a left winger so Wilson will get 120 minutes as a center forward but Isaac is getting only 6 minutes as a center forward and 6 minutes as a left winger which is a great advantage for Wilson as well I hope I can roll my free transfer for this game week to get uh, one week more of information and to know any braided line team news in game week 36 double game week 36 which one is starting or both are starting i think getting both of them not my plan at all it will cost me selling a defender wasting a free transfer on a defender and may take a hit in addition i may need and have to bench one of man united man city or even liverpool assets game week 36 i think it doesn't work at all so I'm willing to get only one of them regarding my forwards both of my forwards are big problem for me this game week Jota fit or not Erling Haaland will he start or be benched ahead of the game with Real Madrid it will be a very tough and tricky decision as I mentioned before if Haaland starting or not starting anyway I will start with him but regarding Jota if he is not starting and not fit it will be a very obvious and i will sell him my bench consists of keba as my bench goalkeeper my defenders will be botman henry and the last one is greenwood just for saving the budget my captain choice for this game week depending usually on team news if Haaland is benched i will get alvarez and captain him if not i will go with jota but if jota not fit for the weekend my last options will be mo salah or brighton midfielders going with a differential captain for the last four games of the season and hope it will reward me and go and improve my overall rank and you if you want to improve your rank i highly recommend listening to good FBL managers and no five tips from previous world number one about how he can continue be in these positions watch it now and thanks guys for watching so kindly drop a like and subscribe if find it helpful